good afternoon students today uh, good afternoon students today we are going to learn about the uh, how you can prove uncertainty principle uh, by using thought experiment actually thought experiment is a hypothetical experiment and it is to be performed by using a gamma ray microscope so that's why it is also known as gamma ray microscope experiment or it is known as the thought experiment okay actually this is idea is about the given by the bohrs and it is adapted by the heisenbergs okay so what we have to do is in this suppose this one is the microscope okay this is the position of the electron and this is the gamma rays which is incident on the electron and this will get scattered along the direction of the microscope it will get scattered along the direction oa or it will get scattered along the direction ob and this gamma ray are incident along the x axis direction okay so this experiment is to be performed to find out the delta x and delta p value of delta x and delta p if this value is found then this value should be greater than equals to x cross divided by 2 okay so what is delta x delta x is known as the uncertainty in determination of position of this electron and what is delta p delta p is the uncertainty in determination of p means momentum uncertainty in determination of momentum of electron and delta x is the uncertainty in determination of position of electron how will you explain this diagram so first of all what is the aim of this experiment this experiment is about the finding the in in evitable means that we cannot avoid that errors okay this is to be occurs in the experiment so inevitable error in measuring the position position means x and momentum momentum means p if there is uncertainty then delta x if there is uncertainty in momentum then delta p so it is a error in measuring position and momentum of an electron for that what we have to consider let o be the position of electron lambda be the wavelength wavelength of which lambda is the wavelength of this scattered gamma rays these gamma rays are moving in upward direction along oa this is lambda along ob this is also lambda and what is this alpha alpha is the semi vertical angle if this one is the objective of the lens then the rays will moves in this direction okay along that lens curvature so it looks like a cone okay so that that is this alpha is known as your semi vertical angle what is alpha alpha is the semi vertical angle of the cone okay so this is about your uh, experimental arrangement now what happens this is the position of an electron okay so what is the error in measurement of position of a particle the error will be the resolving power of microscope so means if what is resolving power resolving powers means if two objects are there the minimum distance between the two objects so that they appear to be a separate matlab do object ke beech mein ka minimum distance jahan pe wo apne ko kaise dikhai denge separate dikhai denge jo minimum distance rahega usko bolte resolving power usse zyada distance raha to wo separate dikhai denge lekin usse kam distance raha to wo kya honge it will not appear to be separate okay so now what is the resolving power of a uh, microscope the resolving power of a microscope is given by the resolving 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 power of microscope that gives you the position of a particle is given by delta x is equals to lambda divided by lambda divided by 2 sin alpha lambda divided by 2 sin alpha okay this is your equation number 1 so that is the resolving power means if object is move the smaller distance or object object move less than this distance then microscope will not able to detect that moment 
सो दैट इज द एरर इन डिटरमाइनिंग द पोजिशन इससे कम डिस्टेंस में अगर ऑब्जेक्ट मूव होता है तो माइक्रोस्कोप उसको डिटेक्ट कर पाएगा क्या नहीं बिकॉज उसका रिजोल्विंग पावर ही कितना है उससे कम अगर मूव होता है तो उसको डिटेक्ट ही नहीं कर सकता दैट्स वाई विल से दैट वॉट इज द डेट अनसर्टेटिटी इन मेजरमेंट ऑफ पोजिशन दैट इज द रिजोल्विंग पावर ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप दैट इज डेल्टा एक्स इज इक्वल टू लैमड़ा डिवाइडेड बाई टू साइज पावर लैमड़ा इज द वेवलेंथ ऑफ दिट स्कैटर्ड फुट एंड एंड अल्फा इज यूर Which angle? Semi-vertical angle of that pole. Okay. So this is about your position. Now, what we have to calculate? We have to calculate uncertainty in the momentum delta p. For that, what we have to consider is that suppose this gamma ray is incident on this electron. This electron, uh, this gamma ray is incident on this electron. Ele electron will get recoil and this. gamma rays will get scattered along direction oa or it will get scattered along direction ob so along this direction we will get different momentum and along this direction we will get different momentum so if you different calculate the difference between these two momentum we will get the uncertainty in momentum because the ray can be get scattered along oa direction or in between this direction it will get scattered इस डायरेक्शन में वो किसी भी डायरेक्शन में स्कैटर्ड हो सकता है सो इट विल गेट स्कैटर्ड अराउंड ओ ए एंड बिटवीन दिस रे इट विल गेट स्कैटर्ड अप टू द ओ बी सो फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट द मोमेंटम फॉर दिस ओ ए देन फाइंड आउट द मोमेंटम फॉर दिस ओ बी एंड देन कैलकुलेट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मोमेंटम अलाउंड ओ ए एंड मोमेंटम अलाउंड ओ बी सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस पैरामीटर सपोज This is your direction O A. Okay. This direction wavelength is lambda. Okay. Then what is the momentum now? Momentum, momentum P in terms of in terms of wavelength lambda is given by P is equals to h divided by lambda. Okay. So, what is the momentum along this direction? Along this direction, momentum will be h into lambda, and this angle is your alpha, semi-vertical angle, and this is the direction of your scattered X-ray. So, this is the x-axis component, and this is your y-axis component. So, what is the component along x-axis? Along x-axis, this component will be h alpha into sorry, h divided by lambda into sine alpha. Okay, so we can say that from this equation, the momentum, the component of momentum, or momentum along which direction? Along O A is given by what is momentum along O A direction? It is h divided by alpha and What is the component momentum? Its component, its component along which axis? Component along x-axis is component of momentum along x-axis is h alpha h alpha into the sine alpha. This is momentum component along x-axis is h divided by sorry h divided by lambda into the sin alpha okay so first equation gives the momentum that is o a along o a direction that is h alpha and what is the momentum along x axis h alpha minus x axis now so this is the momentum of a scattered electron uh, sorry momentum of a scattered gamma ray and this now and this is the momentum along o a direction and this is momentum along x so how much momentum so momentum imparted to the electron momentum imparted to the electron momentum imparted to the electron that we have to calculate so what is the momentum imparted to the electron what is the initial momentum momentum of a Incident mean that will be h divided by lambda dash, and what is the momentum component along x-axis? H divided by lambda into sine alpha. Okay, this is your equation number second. So this is the momentum. 
this gives you the this gives you the momentum imparted to moment imparted to electron along which direction along opposite direction okay similarly you can calculate the momentum imparted along ob direction now this is your ob direction what is the momentum along this direction h divided by lambda and what is this angle alpha so along this direction in this direction momentum will be h divided by lambda into sin alpha this direction component momentum will be h divided by lambda into sin alpha there will be a minus sign due to the change in direction and this component is along which axis this is along which axis x axis so you can write so momentum momentum imparted imparted to the electron along which direction along ob direction this will be given as h lambda s this is the momentum of incident photon incident gamma ray minus minus h divided by lambda into sin alpha this minus minus will get plus so this will be h lambda dash plus h divided by lambda into sin alpha okay so this is the first component this is imparted if momentum imparted along ob and this is the momentum imparted along ob first is along oa direction and second is along which direction ob direction if i have to find out the difference between these two component then that will give you the delta p so that is momentum momentum along which direction oa momentum imparted to the electron along oa direction minus momentum imparted to the electron along which direction along ob direction momentum to the electron okay so what is momentum to the electron along ob direction so that second equation h divided by lambda s minus h divided by lambda into sin alpha minus here it will be h divided by lambda dash here it is plus plus h divided by lambda into sin alpha okay so this two quantities will get cancel this quantity is minus this quantity is minus then what is the magnitude this magnitude will be h divided by lambda into sin alpha this will be twice twice h alpha divided by h lambda divided by sin alpha okay so what is this delta p so this delta p is equals to twice h divided by lambda into sin alpha and what is delta x delta x gives you the resolving power of telescope or microscope or resolving power of microscope and this microscope gives you the delta x resolving power so what is delta x delta x is equals to lambda divided by 2 sin alpha and what we have calculated delta p is equals to this value will be 2 h divided by lambda into sin alpha so this is suppose your equation number a and this is your equation number b if you take the product of delta x into delta p it will be lambda divided by 2 sin alpha into twice h divided by lambda into sin alpha okay so what we will get is that this equation will gives you no here it is in upward direction sin alpha here it is okay so twice h divided by lambda into sin alpha so this sin alpha sin alpha will get cancel lambda will lambda will cancel and two two will also get cancel so that gives you delta x into delta p is equals to h okay
okay so this error in measurement of position and momentum is always greater than h that is the general statement of the heisenberg uncertainty principle so delta x into delta p that is greater than h if you take it more accurately this if you solve the more accurate expression you will get delta x into delta p is greater than h cross divided by 2 okay so this proves your heisenberg uncertainty principle that uncertainty in measurement of position or uncertainty in measurement of momentum and their product is always greater than or equal to h if you have to take more accurate expression it will be h cross by 2 thank you